my male 24 girlfriend, female 25 inheritance is changing her and making our relationship worse. Posting from throwaway because I don't want my girlfriend to see that I'm seeking advice if she ever checks out my main account. My girlfriend's parents are divorced and her father passed away at the end of last year. She was his only child, so she inherited most of his assets, which was a lot because her father was a wealthy man, at least to my standards. The problem started after she took care of all the formalities regarding the inheritance. We moved in together, which made me happy because we've been together for four years already. At first, I thought that the apartment we moved into was the only one she inherited because we didn't speak much about her father's fortune. But it turned out that it was just one of five apartments that she inherited. I asked her why she would withhold this information from me, and she told me that she hasn't thought that this will be so important and decided to either sell or rent the rest of the apartments. It made me feel kind of uneasy. If we are together for so long and we both decided to move in together, then shouldn't we both discuss and choose which apartment to move into? She apologized though, so I left it at that, but I, but it didn't end there. I later learned that she also inherited a house that she sold without consulting me. <laughs> How dare she, this woman who you've been dating for four years. She argued that she wanted to give the money to her mom so she could live comfortably. But I don't believe that anyone would just sell a freaking house to give money to someone else. That's pure BS. Another thing that is making me confused is how she just doesn't want to share. Her father left a car and lots of electronics, like a MacBook, and she just claimed it without even asking if I need a new laptop or something. Mm, there's a lot more to read here, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to go red alert mode here. I'm not expecting her to not use her inheritance, but we've been together for four years. She knows that I was thinking about buying a new laptop. It would be nice if she at least asked. I also thought that she would at least let me drive the new car, but she just started to brag about how it's her first car, etc. She's not even driving it because she prefers to take a bus or walk most places. She also wants to split bills evenly, even though I know she has a lot more money now and I'm pretty sure she wouldn't even need my share of payment. So a lot of guys have this thing where it's like, uh, or a lot of people have this thing where it's like, I, I don't want to feel less than, so I'm going to pay my share no matter what the other person has. This guy doesn't have that problem. Not a shred of it. I asked her about it, and she actually got kind of mad at me this time. Told me that we are not married or anything, and that I shouldn't just expect her to give her whole inheritance to me. So yeah, just usual over-emotional woman BS, because that's not what I asked for at all. I wonder if like gaping should be one of our uh, one of our additions to like ask on one. This guy's a gaping asshole. He's a biggin. He's a biggin. I told her that I just feel left out because she's deciding what to do with the apartments herself, and then she's just claiming the car and the MacBook. Well, I'm here too. She just doesn't want to understand. She actually argued that this is exactly why she never told me about her father's wealth, as if I was some kind of gold digger or something. Clutches pearls. How to make her realize that her selfishness may break us apart? I feel like it's harder and harder for me to, to commit when I know that there are people out there who would be way more caring in a relationship than she is. I was thinking about suggesting a couples therapy because I love her and don't want to break up, but she has to realize that she's not alone and I should be involved in the decisions that she's making. OP posted a separate post to ask for more advice. Before we get into that, though, what the f***? This guy's worldview is jack. Sir, I hate to be the one to break it to you, and I'm sure Reddit commenters already tore you a new gaping one, but you don't have any kind of claim to her inheritance or anything else that she owns because you're just dating. And even if you were married, you wouldn't have a claim to her inheritance. And you're behaving like a gold digger. So you, clutching your pearls, offended that she made a statement that you felt like was insinuating you were a gold digger? Maybe a little bit of guilt creeping through there. I don't know if, if, this, is, if this is a play uh, or if he's really just this ignorant. Either way, it's not okay. She lost her father. She's going through all the, uh, through the, the embroilment of having to deal with all the paperwork and getting all the estate settled and all that bullshit. And I'm sure that's not easy, but the whole time, the only thing he cares about is like, why well, wasn't I involved in the decision to sell the house? Because it doesn't involve you, dick. Simple answer. All right. <laughs> um, where did you find this guy? OP's girlfriend. Where did you find him? 
Okay, uh, OP posted a separate post to ask for more advice. Will I be the astronaut if I report my girlfriend's mother for tax evasion? Three months ago. A month later. From what I understood, monetary gifts are considered income in certain cases. If the tax wasn't paid already by the one who gifted the money, for example, my girlfriend paid inheritance tax, but I don't think it's the same as income tax. I would need to consult a lawyer on this. I believe that the exact amount of the gift is way above the taxable threshold, as it was the money for my girlfriend's father's house, which was a lot. I'm not sure, but I know my mother-in-law. She believes that I'm after my girlfriend's money and inheritance. I caught her telling my girlfriend that I'm not worthy, greedy, and a gold digger. She's projecting her own wrongdoings on me. <laughs> oh my it's just ignorant this is not uh this is not malicious this is not no it's just just ignorant okay she's projecting her own wrongdoings on me it's important to me because my girlfriend is naive and she believes that she did the right thing i don't think she did <sighs> Key comments from original OP. We've been together for four years already. She agreed to come to a couple's therapy because she changed completely after inheriting her father's fortune and became selfish. She will realize that I'm doing the right thing. My girlfriend pays the bigger portion of our bills. We moved into one of her father's apartments. And since she has way more money than me now, we agreed not so long after, not so long ago that she would pay for it. She has some problems with being selfish with her inheritance. For example, how she kept in secret exactly how much exactly her father has left her and how she sold most of it already. In most cases, men who earn more and have more assets have no problem with their women living comfortably. So why does everyone want me to feel bad? You, we've been together for four years. She has more money now, way more. It's only natural that she pays more. You can't bully me into believing otherwise. Update! My girlfriend gave me an ultimatum after my request to change our therapist due to them both ganging up on me during our sessions. Busted yesterday. Wow. You can't bully me into believing otherwise. Then why are you posting asking for f advice? This is not an advice seeking thing. This is validation. And apparently he had enough people validate him to keep this bullshit charade going. We, as in me and my girlfriend, started couples therapy a few months ago. Our relationship went through a rough patch. We were both at fault and decided to work on it instead of calling it quits. Well, there's a change in tone. Because up to this point, everything had been her fault. He was right, and she would see it. Our therapist is a very renowned one, so I had high hopes for this. The first few meetings went well, but then he started to be weirdly invested in our relationship. After those first few meetings, I think two or three, I don't remember, he suggested that we both need separate therapy with different specialists to work on ourselves and not just focus on our relationship. I refused, as I see no reason to go into therapy myself. We went just for couples counseling anyway. But as I said, he grew overly interested, especially in my girlfriend's well-being, as he put it, and brought up individual therapy each time we went. I wanted to change our therapist, but my girlfriend was really against the idea to the point of being mad at me for even suggesting it, which I also felt found weird. She eventually started her individual therapy per his suggestion. It's been a month. She's going to see her therapist every week while we go to our therapist for couples counseling at least once a month. And I just want to say she changed. Not in a good way, actually. She started to be more nitpicky, argumentative, accusatory even. She would pick a fight over something and then bring it up in our session, have our therapist agree with her, and then they both gang up on me. The most recent example is from a week ago when I finally had enough. We had a mutual agreement about our living situation. We split bills unevenly, which means she pays more since she has more money than me anyway. It was never a problem for her before, but suddenly it is. And then our therapist is like, it's unfair, burdensome, etc. So I told my girlfriend that either we change our therapist or I don't want to go. To which she replies that either we go to this therapist or we break up. I think breaking up over my request is a huge overreaction, but she refuses to even have a normal discussion with me, saying things like eye for an eye, ultimatum for an ultimatum. I'm at loss. I'm at a loss. Was my request really so unreasonable? Yes. Is there even a way to salvage this? No. I need some help. Maybe anyone has an idea how to approach this issue with my, without my girlfriend going into to an ultimatum mode. Uh, edit, since everyone is bringing up my past mistakes and previous posts, yes, I know I was wrong for this, but we were supposed to work this out in therapy. I thought we were on the relationship advice, and this sub was about, well, advice. Oh, he's posted in like three different places. Why is everyone choosing to ignore the issue stated in this post? Edit, asking here was a mistake. I will have fun reporting your private messages to me for harassment. Edit. Well, I don't know who did this or why, but someone not only found me on Facebook, but also went through my profile, I guess, to find my girlfriend and linked her to my Reddit. <gasps> oh, shit. I'm so happy.
happy. I've never been so elated reading a Reddit story. <gasps> yeah, not to this post, but my whole account and my previous post. Do you feel better now? Are you going to sleep better? I'm, I hope you're proud of yourself for ruining our relationship and probably making me homeless. Good thing is I don't have to do therapy anymore since she's not going to pay for it anymore. A key original OP comment here. But if she breaks up with me, I'll become homeless since I'm not working currently and can't afford rent for now. As I said, it's way more complicated. I can move back to my parents' place, but they're not rich, so I would probably need to drop out from uni to work full-time until I save some money. My whole life will crumble, not just our relationship. I am so happy that she got to see the Wizard of Oz behind the curtain extent of your total bullshit. Wow. So thankful. How can someone be so oblivious? Professional victim. Yeah, 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 yeah. And still can't accept responsibility. Still, still now. I hope you're happy you ruined our relationship. Still can't accept that he's the one in the wrong. This boy is going to leech onto someone else, then someone else, then someone else, then someone else. But it's never going to work because he has no accountability whatsoever. None. But oh my gosh, to be a fly on the wall whenever she received that message and started reading posts. Oh, I would have been so happy to be there watching this whole thing go down and her just be like, okay, yeah, he's exactly the piece of shit I thought he was.